In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to completely replace manually all the WordPress core files on a live site and how to do it safely and the steps that I go through to do this. And some of the things this will fix is a white screen of death, for example, is often fixed by replacing the core files and a bunch of other problems can be fixed this way as well. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress tips and tricks and getting better at WordPress for yourself and your clients, click on subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And if you like deals, I've negotiated a half off deal with InMotion Hosting. You get half off of any one of their plans that you want. It can be for yourself or for your clients or whatever, you get half off. Link in the description down below for more details. And with that out of the way, let's head to the screen capture. So to replace the core files, the first thing we have to do is figure out where to put them and then download them, upload them, and replace the existing ones. And this is how I recommend that you do that. Head over to your file manager or you can do this via FTP as well. Click on file manager to open the root of your website. Go to public underscore HTML. This is where all the files are for your site. And I've got a couple custom ones in here. I'll show you how to deal with that in just a minute. So what we want to do is replace the core files without breaking the site, or if the site's broken, replace them in order to fix the site. This can also be referred to as a manual update of the WordPress site. So the core files, it's going to select all of them. Select all these guys right here. I try again. So we selected all the files. The core files are wp-admin, the folder, wp-content, the folder and wp includes the folder. We want to deselect wp content because that contains all the stuff that's used to customize your site themes, images, and plugins. We do not want to replace those because if we do, our site will not be as it should. This yt4 is a custom one. These hidden files are not core WordPress files. This event page isn't, hello page isn't, index.php is. License.txt is, I believe. We can not update that one. That's a custom one. That's a custom one. And that is also a custom one at the bottom here. So now I've selected all of the files that are in the core on this website. If you're not sure which files are in the core, I've done this a long time, so I've kind of memorized them. If we go to WordPress.org, where we're going to download the fresh copy right now, Click on the download WordPress button, click on download WordPress right here. That will download to our computer, unzip that zip file, and we will see the core files presented in here. These are ordered by date, not by title, but you will see all the core files in here. You can compare these core files to the ones that you have in here, and then select the ones that are actually core files. And then what we do, Actually, first we're going to show you this website works. So let's go see how the website is functioning now. Now yours may be broken. This one works just fine. If I go back in here, we're going to actually move these core files into a different folder. And we're going to do that by creating a new folder. We're going to call it core file backup. Now I've got to select all those core files again. Remember not to select WP content, deselect all the custom ones that your site needs. If you don't deselect them and you copy them over, it's not a big deal. You can just copy them back later on if you need them. And don't copy over wp-config.php because that's your database login credentials. So we have all those selected. It's going to drag and drop them into the core file backup. Now, if we go here, refresh this page, it's gonna show a directory listing or possibly a blank screen. To get around this, you don't wanna have this on your live site, there's two ways. Do this at a very low traffic time because when you're doing this quickly, it only takes a few seconds to do. So this will only appear for a few seconds, but it's best to do it at a low traffic time. And what you can do is add a new file in here. It's gonna add an HTML file. I'm gonna call it index.html. That name is very important. This is the name that you name it. Click on create new file. Click on the file. Edit the file. And I'm just going to type in, we will be back in a few 
minutes. Save changes. Now if I head out here to the index, refresh, we now have that message without a functioning directory that people can browse through, which is a bad idea. So this is a very good idea, having this index file. Even though this process just takes a few seconds, making this file also takes a few seconds and keeps you a little bit more secure. So now that we have our core files that we're replacing into a backup folder, we have our index.html file in place. We can now go ahead and upload the core files that we got from the fresh download. So we go back to our file manager, wherever you have them. I'm gonna make a new zip file and I'm gonna exclude wp-content because we're keeping that one from the live site. I'm gonna exclude wp-config-sample and then I'm gonna just compress all of these into a zip. If you're using FTP, you can upload the files directly. Through File Manager, you have to upload the zip file or upload each file individually, which is very slow and painful. Now we have our zip file. I'm gonna create a new folder called New Core Files. You don't need to have those dashes in there. I'm just, it's a habit I have with dashes and file names. When the new four core files upload, I'm just gonna drag and drop this archive file into here. Once it's uploaded, we can close this tab and then reload over here. We have our archive, click on it, click on extract, click on extract files, close that dialog box, reload again. We have our Mac OS X. If you're not using the Mac, you won't have this folder. We can delete that folder and delete the archive. And now we have all the core files that we are replacing minus the wp-content folder and minus the wp-config-sample.php file. Now I've selected all of them. I'm just gonna click on move, put them into the root of the website, click on move files. Now they're all gone from this folder and they are in this folder. They're all back. But if we refresh our site, we're not quite done yet because we still have this index.html file. We need to either delete this file. It's gonna close out of here. We need to delete this index file or change its name. So if we change its name to make it an extension that doesn't exist or doesn't, doesn't, uh, isn't rendered in a browser. So I just added some letters, some characters to the end. Refresh this page now. Now this site should load as it did before, or in your case, maybe it will load whereas before it didn't because it was broken. That's why you had to do this replacement. So now the site loads, as you saw, we can go back and delete this index file. Delete the index.html file, should be more specific. Keep the index.php, delete the index.html if you created one for that transfer. Now throughout this whole process, we had a core files backup right here. If something went wrong, if, if you come out here and you refresh this page and you've created more problems than you've solved, you can come back in, delete all the files that you put in here. Your install might be a lot cleaner than mine. I've got a bunch of extra files in the root here that you may not have. So I'm just gonna deselect all the ones we have to deselect. So we wanna for sure make sure wp-config.php is deselected, wp-content is deselected. Then the rest, I'm just gonna delete all these just to show you what you do if your site was not fixed. So if I come back out here, the site's gonna be gone again. Should be a directory listing. Now I come back into our core file backup. I select all these files and I move them just as we moved the updated files. Move them into the root. Now they're all back in here. And we refresh the site again and it should be back up and running because now it's back to how it was before. So if you did create more problems than you fixed by updating those files, you can revert back if you have the backup copies in that folder. So that's how easy it is. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the half off for hosting deal in the description down below. And next up is clicking one of these videos on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.